Hello, I'm looking out over the floodplain of the River Clyde close to Hamilton and the reason I'm here is to get a look at an increasingly rare winter migrant bird to the area, the Hooper Swan. Hooper Swans have been coming to this same spot for generations from their breeding grounds 800 miles north of here in Iceland. The flock here is of national importance and although the numbers have been declining in recent years, this is still one of the largest flocks of Hooper Swans we'll find in South Lanarkshire. Hooper Swans are the really wild cousins of the familiar mute swans that we see throughout the year on ponds and logs in the county. There is a way to tell the two different species apart. Hooper swans have bright yellow beaks compared to the orange beaks of the mute swans and our Icelandic visitors have really loud hooping calls compared to the silent mute swans. Just like the cars travelling north and south on the motorway beside us, migrating hooper swans use the bird equivalent of a motorway. These migration routes are known as flyways, and one of these flyways, or swan motorways in the sky, passes south down the Clyde Valley. These flyways have their very own swan service stations. Here birds can stop off in small staging flocks to rest and refuel before they carry on their migration south to the north of England. For some migrating hooper swans, like our very own Meryton Hooper flock, this service station is their final destination. There are about 40 birds in the Meryton Hooper flock and they come back to this same spot year after year. And the reason this area is so important for them is because it provides everything they need. The farmland roundabout provides pastures and cereal fields for them to feed in and the open areas of water close to the Clyde provide them a safe place to roost at the end of the day. We know that the same individual swans and family groups come back to this spot every year because many of them have brightly coloured rings with unique identification numbers on them on their legs. From these rings we can tell how old individual birds are and we can even tell in which part of Iceland they breed. In a recent study of hooper swans in Northern Ireland, the Wildfield and Wetlands Trust have fitted some hooper swans with GPS transmitters and from these transmitters scientists are able to accurately pinpoint where hooper swans migrate, where they stop off and rest and where they feed. They can even tell from the information how fast the swans are flying, sometimes they're flying as fast as 60 miles an hour and they can tell at what height they're flying when they're migrating, sometimes they're as low as 100 feet and sometimes they're as high as 25,000 feet. And they've also been able to work out that some super fit hooper swans can migrate from Iceland to Scotland in as little as 18 hours. All of the information that has been gathered will help to protect the swan flyways and feeding areas from potential threats such as habitat loss and wind farm developments. But the flyway here in the Clyde has an additional hazard for the swans and that's overhead power lines. The local RSPB and bird enthusiasts, along with Scottish Power, have come up with a unique way of helping to protect the swans and avoid them colliding into the power lines. They've installed flight diverters, which are brightly coloured orange balls, onto the lines, which helps to divert the birds away from the power lines and the possibility of collisions. Although the orange flight diverters were located a few years ago, Local bird enthusiasts and Scottish Power are still working in new ways to help the Hooper Swans. They've come up with this new design of bird diverter, which is multicoloured, reflective, and moves in the wind. If you'd like to find out more about these fantastic winter visitors to Scotland, why not visit the Wildfield and Wetlands Trust website? Here you'll find out everything you wanted to know about Hooper Swans where they breed in Iceland, where to see the biggest flocks in Scotland, and here you can even adopt your very own Hooper Swan. Happy Swan watching! Cheerio!